Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I want to apologize in advance. For some reason, my nose was going crazy this day and I had a lot of sniffling, so I apologize. I don't know what time or when, what day you guys will be watching this, but kind of wanted to do a little early Christmas update on this Resi Reefer and I'll also show a little bit of my nano tank also. So yeah, let's get started. So if you guys recalled from the last video, I was going through a really bad bubble algae outbreak and just like a bunch of problems, to be honest. I was like trying different stuff with lighting, uh, nutrient export, etc. So first off, you guys, look, there is a new face, fox face to be specific. Um, I just added him because I heard that they do eat bubble algae and to be honest he did pick out a little bit but I can't say he's like eating it religiously so glad he's in the tank now to just kind of like help out and him combined with manual removal that I've been like really really trying to nail down and probably the little two emerald crabs I've been here I can successfully say that I got rid of most of the bubble algae I'm going to say there's around like 20% or so left that are in like those little small cracks. And you can see stuff floating in the water. I was kind of like getting rid of more bulb algae. I like just cleaned up a little bit. But yeah, I think bulb algae is under control now, I want to say. And I also did pick up a yellow chorus rest. It was at this like fish sale. And he was like really active eating in store, picked him up. Uh, was doing really good for two weeks actually and the other day I did notice he one of his eyes did have like white or gray I can't really it was like too hard to look at because I couldn't catch him but his eye kind of like did look it looked kind of different right and I think I searched it up and I think they said it was like a parasite or flukes I can't remember but the next day I saw him on the sand bed just breathing really really hard and when they're at like that stage, you kind of know they're a goner. So I did pick him up. I caught him because he was like just really not as, at his best and did a freshwater dip. But next day, of course, he didn't make it. And my cleanup crew took care of him. So that's just how it is sometimes. So kind of like really bad streak of fish losses in like the past two months, I want to say. But moving on to good news. Um, my acros are doing a lot better. You can see this Pikachu one in the front is just taken off. It's like really, really encrusting well. PC Rainbow, Golden Rod finally coloring up how I wanted it. Still some shading right there, right? And then this acro right here, I do see some acro eating flatworm bites, bite marks. So I need to keep a close eye on that one. And I took one off this rock, one acro, because I just like lost half its color. Checked it out. There's like a big flatworm, so I scraped off its egg. So I guess there are some in this tank. And yeah, I, I was really hoping that yellow chorus rats would take care of those too, or help me out at least. Um, big elegance here. My plan is probably by next year, I'm gonna try to get rid of this thing. Kind of sad, right? But it's like taking up such a big chunk of my tank and just doesn't look good in this front corner, to be honest. I only got this thing because I was really hoping my comms would like host in this thing, right? but they have just totally taken on this Gawney Rock over here. Um, in terms of hammer, you guys recall I was like struggling with hammers. They were like losing color, shriveled up kind of, just don't look good, right? So one, uh, one of you guys commented in the video to check my mag levels. And I don't know why I didn't think of it because the last time I checked the mag, it was like, in a good spot it used to be like really high so i wasn't dosing as much mag but my mag levels actually dropped all the way down to like 1100 i want to say i'll put the icp's test like right now but so that i was like dosing more mag into the tank phosphates dropped to zero which was not good at all so they're probably like starving out a little bit and i'm pretty sure my nitrates also bottomed out so i totally stopped my uh protein skimmer for like the last week or two and just fed more into the tank. And even though they don't look as well, I can tell you that the pink one actually colored up a little bit more. It was a little bit more transparent. 
but that lighting and flow is probably like the biggest challenge for this little hammer garden I have right now. So hopefully I can find a better long-term solution. And I did pick up a bottle of like Neo Nitro, I think, from BRS. So I'm hoping to get my nutrients level a little bit higher. And I just did like refroids, which I haven't done for like months. Just hoping to get levels back up without like, hopefully it doesn't cause bubble object to explode again. So we'll see. All right, moving on to this side. Not much growth has happened over here. My um, cotton candy torch is kind of like split into four heads actually. So that's really nice. Uh, Monty's growing up. I like it, the digi. And I got that new torch back there. It's, uh, the colors look really nice. It looks, it kind of looks like the master, but it's not. It's, um, thank God as a dragon tamer. <laughs> so a little backstory on this guy. I uh, saw a guy on Reef to Reef post some really good torch prices and sent him a deal. And I think I got like two for like, 250 shipped so that was like an awesome deal for me at least um so he sent them got them that same day i they didn't look too happy right but i did notice that he didn't include a a heating pack which is kind of odd right um typically they do put heating packs and i think texas at the time was we also had like a cold front so i'm not sure why he didn't include one but i was a little optimistic of keeping them alive kind of put them in tank acclimated them and went to work came home the heads were just obliterated like lost like everything like all the flesh all the all the polyps so kind of reached out to the guy he says he was going to send me some replacements so i was okay with that as long as i paid shipping so i was like all right as long as you can do that and put a heating pack that's fine with me so when i got here it was only like a single head of torch so I was a little disappointed, but he was like, yeah, there's not much I can do. He showed me a picture and, you know, I did my best by sending one. So I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so just be careful out there. And even though it's not obvious, I guess you can tell people that, like, you're going through a cold front or whatever. So they hopefully put a heating pack in there for you. All right, but moving on from the negatives. Um, Dragon Soul looking really nice. I know somebody, I think I put this on TikTok, and they're like, whoa, that's like way too much flow. I'm like, no, look at this guy. He's like enjoying life right here. <laughs> Aussie Torch still surviving. I know people say like after like half a year or something, they start dying off. So but honestly, it still looks good. So I'm really happy about that. Um, oh, you see my little, can you see him? My little Roy Graham was just poking his head out. It's kind of weird. So it's like weird because when this guy's not out, my, my golden assessor's out. When that guy's out, he's like a terror. That guy just hides inside this little rock like all day. It's like some days I won't even see him. See my little Mandarin Gobi? This guy has definitely grown. Probably doubled in size to be honest when I first got him. He still looks pretty like chubby. So I think the pod population is doing really good inside this tank. I do check my tank at night like all the time. Like I shine a little flashlight, just look around. It's really cool. <laughs> Um, I do see like little pods and stuff crawling around, so I don't think that has been a problem. I did pick up two more bottles of pods and one bottle of Fido from Dingin Aquatics. They had like some sale. Uh, I picked up those because I'm gonna be going back to my hometown. So I live in like Dallas Fort Worth. If you guys know Texas, the little like rectangle shape at the top, that's where I'm originally from. So I'll be gone for like a week. So I wanted to do some more paws just in case. Just to keep them beefed up. Uh, I honestly haven't seen him eat any frozen. Maybe that's because like I never cut down the flow for him to like get there. But sometimes when I feed, I see him like swimming around. So maybe he's trying his best. So he just can't can't get to, I guess, maybe. Um, Sorry, my, my nose is like sniffling for some reason. Sorry, camera kind of went weird, but... You my mushrooms right here, they just spit out two babies. So that one's spit out this one. It's kind of interesting because these two have not grown at all. Like, I think it's been half a year already. And these guys have not grown at all. And weird thing is that even the little baby spit out another one. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So I guess we have two more grown in. 
Ace of Spears are doing really nice. I think I got around like five or six heads on that guy. Dream K still sitting at two heads. I expected these guys to be a little slower, but yeah, still doing really well. Um, one thing is my Alvi did start like losing its color. So I'm really hoping that's like a nutrients problem like with my hammer. So there's that. Um, in terms of anything new that I'm doing, I started dosing um, acro power. So I think I'm like on my second week, so I can't speak much to it. So I'm doing acro power now. And here's the lights I picked up from AliExpress. Have the hybrid on. I really need to find a better way of mounting these because I, I want them a little more angled. So I do have them angled right now, as you guys can see, but still not enough. And I haven't gotten a part meter, so I'm being like really careful with like how I'm using the light right now. So I dialed back the radions. And I really love the blue that adds in. It looks a lot, um, man, I don't know how to describe the blue. It's like more, same, it's like a blue that the radions don't give off. If it makes sense. It's like a different spectrum. And I really like the, the spectrum that those bars have. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And yeah, I think that probably wraps up this tank. I'm not sure if I went into it yet, but ICP results have super high aluminum for some reason. So I need to figure out what is even causing that. But everything else seemed okay. And I'll probably do another one after the New Year's just to see a little update. So yeah, that probably wraps it up for this part. All right, so I kind of just blasted the whites inside this tank because for some reason, it's really hard to pick up this tank with the, the blues on it. But so little update, started the glasses dirty. Haven't touched this tank. Probably do all this cleanup tomorrow, but I was just trying to shoot everything in one shot. Um, see my little yellow clown goby there. So this tank, I'm a little worried because um my clown goby i just don't know how he would do if he isn't fed over three days i'm pretty sure he'll be fine i'm trying to have my girlfriend come over like every three days to feed and he eats like little um brine shrimp right now so i'm pretty sure he'll be okay though i kind of like didn't feed him the last two days fed him today he seems fine he's really chubby still so what changed since the last video sorry let me get down to look so I added um, this blasto that I picked up from a local. Super fat heads. It's like pink with a little purple. It's like purple bluish inside its mouth. But fat heads right there. It's different from that like little blue raven blasto. I noticed like the heads are a little smaller on that one. A cans right here and my micro musa. Or sorry, I don't know the whole scientific names. So some of you guys might cringe out there. Those are doing okay. And of course, I do have this guy. Um, there's a little bit of shading going on here. So I might decide to move them in the future, but I, I know Blastos do like shading and I can tell because the heads are just super fluffy. <laughs> um, added this hammer from my Red Sea Reefer. Just hoping it would recover. Honestly, it's like been so long at this like stalemate point. I don't know if it will ever recover. Uh, candy cane heads are fluffy and that little one's recovered the one near the stalk that one like almost didn't make it just because like when I first got it, it was just in a rough spot um, Zoa's still doing really well and I forgot so the replacement light still haven't heard any news of the new one coming so hopefully by the new year I will have a working AI light and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about essentially um, my AI light, half of the blade had like a different spectrum than the right side. So one side was like more blue, which is this left side. I mean, you can see like right here, a little bit more blue, white. And it's actually perfect how like my camera's able to pick this up. Just look at this rock versus this rock. It's very telling. Um, yeah, so I mounted on that Pasilla portal right there. <laughs> have some Zola frags just hanging out. And I probably have more coming. I'm gonna put it all over the sand beds. But top down view on the mushroom. Oh wait, sorry. Forgot, let me stop the flow real quick.
little top down view mushroom right there <laughs> has like a streak or two of red still don't see any babies or i don't know how like how jawbreaker mushrooms grow like i don't know the timeline on these guys so if you guys keep jawbreakers uh let me know like how often do they populate i guess or like i don't know create little babies <laughs> but plans for this tank um i think i picked enough corals so i'm just gonna chill a little bit and keep an eye out on more acans i only have like one right now and a bunch of blasters nothing wrong with blasters but i just need more acans that was like my ultimate dream for this tank and the random like you fully kind of just i'm just like hoping they do better in this tank but uh yeah so that kind of like wraps up this little part not much has changed in this tank hope and hopefully in the next update i'll probably have a new fish in here maybe i'm trying to get a bang eye carnal or something i try and pick up these little like babies at the fish store and they're like selling them for like 20 a pop but like during the sale they like like literally raised the price on me i, I saw him do it he's like oh it's like oh no i'm gonna sell them for like 40. I'm like, well, that's the same price you guys had before the sale, so there was like no point in me picking them up. So I'm gonna try to pick up some like smaller ones, not like full dotes. Or if like I find somebody that breeds these locally, that'd be even better. But ever since I added that um, nano pump, the sand bed has looked a lot better, I wanna say. I still do need to pick up, I wanna say like a little, a little conch to keep inside this tank for like the back over there but with conches they kind of like knock over stuff and most of my zoa stuff were just like laying on the bed sand bed at least so i'm not sure what i'll do maybe i pick up like hermits or something but yeah so that wraps up this video hope everybody has a great christmas and holidays spend it with your loved ones or even you're by yourself just treat yourself out and i hope everybody's tanks is doing well make sure you do your maintenance and stuff before you go on those trips and try to do them like a week early so you know at least things are working for you you don't want to do them like the day before and then your tank crashes or something uh so yeah i will catch you guys probably in the next year peace